Once again, guys, we're going to be doing another lot walk here at Maple Motors. I'll also show you inside the office. A lot of y'all haven't seen that before. Uh, I'm going to be showing you all the new inventory that we got this week. And I'll be gone half the week. So uh, if you call for me, I won't be here. All right, let's get started. Wasted a lot of time sitting down here by this lake. A lot of things went through my mind. Should I go or should I stay? As those memories come back to me, I remember high school days when we would get a bunch of friends and party the night. We're all about the classics. And guys, we're getting ready to do another lot walk here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. I've got new rides every single week. We have to. We're going through about 50 cars a month here at Maple Motors, and that's been you know, for a while now, I'd say the last 10 years. It's a family business, 40 years running now. And this year and last year was our best selling years, thanks to y'all. Again, we buy about 10 to 15 cars every single week, put them up on Mondays so you know exactly what we have. We'll also do a test drive video, every single car, all the way through the lot. We're going to be picking out flaws for you. I got about three to do. I've pretty much got all my other test drives done. I'm going to start staying ahead. I'll be looking for some premiere videos. I'm going to start doing those hopefully every single week. We're going to start up here in the front, guys. Check maplemotors.com out. I can finance these cars. I do have shipping. We'll send them straight to your house. And give me a call, 615-822-4444. Don't sit here and comment about, oh, hey, I'm going to send money. There's a lot of scammers, and I don't want you to get scammed. So call that number and make sure you're talking to one of the family members here. Starting out in the front, one of my favorite cars of the week, 1972 Chevy Chevelle. It's a pretty sweet, sweet car here. It's got stripes all the way across the roof to the back. This one's 36.9. American Racing Wheels, they look brand new. I mean, all the way through. Disc brakes in the front. Bucket seats. And of course, every car here has got its own story. Some things may have been changed out through the years. But on our website, every car here has got a description. It's going to be going over all the little things that have been changed. And those test drive videos are going to help out as well. Let's run down this side first. 1964 Pontiac Le Mans convertible. See, this one's got a story too. It's a Le Mans, but it's got GTO badges all the way around. Bucket seats. Beautiful paint job. Aftermarket set of wheels, 25.9. The fastest, or one of the fastest cars on the lot. This car, um, it had a big story as well. This was a 1987 Buick T-Type. The list is so big on all the aftermarket stuff. Let's see if, oh, it's on the dash here. I mean, you can see. And right out of the box, the way it sits, they're saying 600 horsepower. And that's with the boost turned down. This one's 25.9. You can see racing harnesses, roll cage. Just watch the video. You'll see. I used my big toe to drive it, and it was all over the road. 1970 Chevy El Camino sitting here. Red with the black stripes. Disc brakes. Tan interior. 20,900. Also went ahead and did this video. It's a four-speed four car. You can watch the test drive on there, but it's got some little things, you know. Some of the trim needs to be buttoned up. But that's also why it's only 20 grand. Guys, years ago, we would keep 70 cars in stock. That's, I just can't do that anymore. A lot of them are going through. And we'll average a good 15 cars that sit around for a few months. 
But like this one, 1972 Chevy El Camino, something new for the car lot. 17.9, silver with the black stripes. Now again, be thinking, what's your favorite car from the update here? This one here, 1975 Chevy Impala. It has been significantly dropped. We had, it had a set of Forgiatos on it. I think it was over $20,000 for the car. We took them off, changed a few things, got it back stock, and it runs awesome at $15,900. Should sell at that price. 1967 Chrysler Newport. This one's $12,900. Chevy Chevelle Station Wagon. This one's $15,900. I went ahead and ran over some of the cars that have been here for a little bit just to get those out of the way. Now over here, I can show you this one. 1972 Ford T-Bird at $79.50. And then a 1976 Chevy Monte Carlo, new to the website, $79.50. Okay. You can see the old Bronco's gone. And we replaced it with a Jimmy. A GMC. This one's from 1979. It's only 10.9. Another 79 model. It's pretty cool. We got three of them in a row here. Dodge Little Red Express. This one's 15.9. Okay, guys, so there is a lot more inventory to show off. A lot of stuff you haven't seen. Some things, like I said, there's about 15 cars that sit around, you know, on average. They eventually all sell. But we're still running through about 50 cars a month, so you always see something new. Let's go ahead and check out Pops' Hot Wheels room and then the showroom. Which has got some goodies in there as well. This right here is the Hot Wheels room. Pops has been collecting Hot Wheels as long as I've been alive. I think he started before I was born. And I helped him out through the years. We used to do flea markets. We used to run around Nashville selling Hot Wheels like crazy. He even had an 18-wheeler sitting up here at one time where he would sell Hot Wheels out of. But now, we stopped doing flea markets. Oh, man. That was every single month. And we open this room here. And it's great. This is only 10% of his collection. It's got a lot more. You can call and ask him for specific cars. We're going to pick out one. You think, no, not this wall. Not this wall. Let's hit up one of these cases. We'll just kind of glance around the whole case. How about that? These are super treasure hunts. It's pretty cool. And this right here. Coca-Cola 1969 Ford Mustang funny car. 15 bucks. It's funny. My kids had the game show stuff on this morning. And they had the prices right from 1970. Here's a brand new car. I was... <laughs> I was giggling in the kitchen making coffee. I was like, man, that's awesome. Under four grand back then in the 70s. Of course, you see what they bring now. All right, let's get back out on the lot. Well, we got to hit the showroom first, don't we? And guys, we have a limited run of shirts. Once we run out, we're going to take a break for a little bit. We got a new addition to the family. 3X is almost completely gone, so within the next couple orders, they won't be available. Um, so get them now through the end of April. We'll take a break. A few months later, I may go ahead and restock and get totally different designs. You can pick these up at maplemotors.com. Well, we do have wheels and tires up here. So if you see a car that you like, but you don't like the wheels, we're able to change them. Ain't that right? That's right, man. Yeah, it's been that way forever. But a lot of people will comment. They'll say, hey, those wheels are horrible. Well... 
We've got a lot of sets. We've also got this big boy. It's not for sale. And we did pick it up over the last week. I think I put it in the last two videos. Yeah, the big boy. Check out this Thunderbird. It is available. 31.9. I think it was a 57 model. Beautiful. That's the only thing that is available in the showroom. We have a lot of personal cars in here right now, especially this one. And it's going back home to Jason's garage. And I can't really show anything else because it's got a little bit of future inventory in here. You can come right out though and I can show you this beautiful 63 Ford F100 pickup step side. It's got the wood bed, aftermarket wheels. Looking pretty good. This one's priced at $24.9. And we still have more rides here. This one's new to the website. 1987 Ford Mustang GT Convertible. Purple with a white interior. Priced at $12.9. So here's got a set of aftermarket wheels. It is an automatic car. Next to that. 1993. Ford Mustang. This is a four-cylinder car originally, but now it has the Cobra motor. Five-speed, price at $17.9. And guys, after about 60 days, if, if the cars are still here, you see all of them. They'll drop in price. I mean, we have to. But we give them 60 days at a firm price. This one here, 1978 Pontiac Firebird. This is just a Firebird, and it already has been dropped. It's $15.9. But it does. It's got a lot of Trans Am stuff on it. And it actually runs and drives good. Again, there's test drive videos for every ride. This one, price drop. 1965 Ford Mustang Convertible. $29.9. Now, we've changed the wheels on this one. You can compare it in the test drive video. It'll have the old wheels. And I might end up redoing the video. I'll try to redo at least one a week. Okay. It's like a teal green C10. This one's from 1965. Aftermarket set of wheels. The white interior. $27.9 is the price. And again, this is a good example here. A lot of people don't care for the aftermarket wheels. I'd say it's a good 50-50. So... We do have wheels that can be swapped out and put on something like this. All right. Let's go down this row. We sold all the Trans Ams last week, except for this one. I think this one's still available. 1979 Pontiac Trans Am in silver with the T-tops. I'm going to say it'll sell this week. It's kind of set up perfect. You got the great look for 20 four nine man my allergies are killing me today it's starting to warm up out here everything's blooming and i didn't take any allergy medicine that's tennessee for you every year 1970 chevy nova this one's 25 nine hot little car new to the website 1967 chevy camaro chrome wheels disc brakes fiberglass hood convertible top black interior 39.9. She's also new to the website. 1967 Camaro Big Block. I think this one had the 502. 35.9. We did this one justice. We put the stripe on it. We got a new set of wheels. I think it looks awesome. This is one of the fastest cars on the car lot. I know it's crazy to say big block 502 I guess that t-type over there I don't know which one will win they're both crazy fast this one's 42.9 and both test drives you can't even get close to flooring it right here 1969 Pontiac Firebird this one's in green and it's price 34.9 This one here, price drop, 1969 AMC AMX. We got it down to 27.9. Won't be long before this one sells. 
Price has already dropped. I think it's going to catch somebody's eye. Then it's going to take off. Well, I see a few more out here that y'all haven't seen before. Just like this one. Just came in new to the inventory. 1966 Chevelle. This one's priced at $37.9. And guys, true SS. This one was new to the website last week. 1968 Chevy Chevelle. Red with the white interior, white top, 32.9. This one here, price drop. I told you. 1972 Chevy Chevelle, 27.9. This one actually runs and drives great. 350 car. It's got a good look. I even got compliments all the way on the other side of town doing my test drive, so. I think that new price will get her out of here. This one here. 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. This is a convertible. Aftermarket set of US mag wheels. 31.9. This is a matching number big block car from 1971. This price at 32.9. Chevy Chevelle. Okay, I think I've got, what, three more cars to show you? And then we'll walk the lot one more time. Guys, I do appreciate you watching. Check us out on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. We post videos on all those platforms. This week, we had a large amount of cars ready, and I hate to say it, you know, we ended up selling about five of them before we could list them. So, that happens every single week. It's good for us, but I like having the content for the videos. I like to be able to test drive them, show you what comes through. Sometimes we get projects, sometimes we get show cars. As long as it's a deal and something we can give the public, that's what we're trying to do here. Other dealers do try to buy cars from us all the time. You might see a lot of Maple Motors cars on other dealer lots. This one here, 1974 Dodge. Charger 259. It's not going to be here long. This one will be sold fast. All the Mopar cars that come through here, if we get them at a good price, they usually go pretty quick. Nineteen seventy-two Plymouth Satellite. Now, somebody put Roadrunner emblems. It's common to see people badging up cars. This one does run drive good. It's got a 446 pack, 28.9. We got ourselves a little Mustang over here. 50 car, five speed car. It's the white edition. They had a limited run of these. It's 1993 LX convertible, 13.9. I'll be gone half the week, but I'm already ahead. I'll get all my test drives done and start on next week's. Again, I'm going to have premieres. I'll sit there and talk with you throughout the test drive videos. Not all of them, just, just select few a week. And uh, I would like to start doing it on these walk-arounds. Well, had a little bit of rain, didn't have everything priced, couldn't get the video done, so this is just a regular walk-around. But you can leave a comment below, tell me what your favorite car is this week. I'm going to say my favorite car this week is going to be the blue Chevelle on the point. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Nobody gets to see the inside of the office. I figured I'd show it today. It's quiet today. It is. Everybody's at lunch. This is Pat. Hello. Many of y'all have talked to him. This is Alyssa, my What's little sister. Up? Pops, always sitting here, right in the center. He started this place in 83. Went a long way. Time Magazine. 
Oh, Jim Fight on Time Magazine right here. You know, get top sales for no reason. Back when we did, uh, was it Wheels and Deals? Yep. He did a bunch of show cars. Pops bought a bunch of new cars, really, back in the day. You did, didn't you? Pictures are awesome. Used to drag race. My dad did too. <laughs> That's cool. Corvette on the beach. Got him out there in the snow. And then, what year do you think this picture was taken? That's on top of the hill. Three or four? Right there across the way. What did you say, Pitcher Jr.? 80... That's 84. 84. 84. This is my dad, Jim Jr. Yeah. What's up? And every week, we've got a sold board that pops up. Uh, we update that every day. It's Monday, so it's starting out. Pops answering the phone. My little spot over here where I make your videos. Yes, sir. Got to have my cowboy hat. My buddy made me this ridiculous looking shirt. No, this is Jim if I can help you. They drew a picture of him. Up, Got this hanging. I'm working on my next no, one. No, he is uh, doing video. Drummer from the Eagles gave me these sticks. I'm getting ready to hang a, uh, hang a guitar in the office here because we get so many different people that uh, that come in that are like superstars. I mean, it's Nashville. We sold a lot of cars to a lot of famous people, but I want to get a nice guitar up on the wall to let them sign. Okay, guys. If I can get ahead enough, I could get these videos out faster. But it's almost impossible sometimes. We're always working on stuff out here. And guys, when we get these cars in, we're not necessarily a repair shop. We buy and sell running and driving cars. We won't actually buy a car that I can't drive down the road. Makes it harder to sell. We don't have, you know, a whole shop up here full of mechanics. It's a family business. There's nine of us here. A lot of us are salesmen. I do all the advertising. I'm a minor mechanic. I can work on stuff. I do all the time. But by no means do I consider myself a professional mechanic. <laughs> what do you call me? Uh, a little bit of experience, a little bit of YouTube. But I've been around these cars my whole entire life. As of most of you that view this channel. I drove in my personal today. Y'all seen it before. I've got a bunch of Camaros at the house. We got this one. And I love it. I don't think I'll sell it. The only issue I have is there is other cars that I have my eye on but I don't have the storage and I'm not gonna leave this thing outside nor any of these these sit outside for a limited amount of time they go to a nice home and if we had a indoor facility big enough we'd move the whole lot there but it's been just like this for 40 years other than we added the back opened it up it's where we can store a little bit of stuff and work on things have our cleanup bay But I am going to change a few things about the channel. We're going to do some premieres. That way, when I'm doing my test drives or my walk-arounds, I can watch it with you and I can sit there and answer your questions. Instead of me focusing on what I'm videoing, I could just focus on the comments that y'all are generating. I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. I've got more coming your way. I'll be gone again at the end of this week. Give us a call, 615-822-4444. That's important because I don't want y'all to get scammed by these people copying my videos and then just posting them on their channel, which is fine as long as you're not trying to scam people. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big problem. Don't know how to stop it, but if you see it, report it. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching.
Monday through Friday, 10 to 5. Nashville, Tennessee is about 15 minutes south of us. We're in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Just trying to think of all the questions y'all typically ask every single walk around. I'm going to get out of here. i got some stuff to do. Thanks again for watching. Later, guys. Wasting a lot of time Sitting down here by this lake A lot of things went through my mind Should I go or should I stay? And as those memories come back to me I remember high school days when we would get a bunch of friends and party the night